Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, figured I would just give everyone a reminder about how you should act while driving or proper driving etiquette. Just some basic fundamental rules that it seems most people have either not learned or forgotten or are very disrespectful and do not care. So, here we go. First of all, if you are going to turn, you should use your blinker. You should use your blinker in enough time, long enough I should say, that the people behind you can look at your car and say, oh, they're getting ready to turn left or right. So that's the first thing that I should say would be a, a good tip is use your damn blinker. All right, so don't just turn. That, that's not a good idea. Uh, if your, brink, your blinker is broken, then you, it's pretty simple to uh, switch out a light bulb. If you are not adept enough of a mechanic, I guess you would say, to switch out a light bulb from your blinker, which most of you probably could, um, it's not very expensive to take it to a shop and get your blinker replaced. All right, so that's my first tip on how to drive like a normal fucking human being. Uh, second, when you're on the interstate and there are three lanes, those three lanes are there for a purpose. The right lane is for people that are driving slower, like large trucks, or perhaps your grandma who is afraid to drive fast, and people getting ready to turn off the interstate onto an exit. It is not the lane that you pass people going 195 fucking miles per hour, okay? That's not the right lane, okay. The right lane is for slow people and people getting off at the next exit, okay? Does that make sense? I, I hope that makes sense for everyone. Uh, the middle lane, if you have three lanes, the middle lane would be for normal people driving the speed limit or near around the speed limit, possibly a little faster depending on the flow of traffic. That's another thing you have to keep in mind. Maybe the speed limit is 70, but if everyone is doing 80 around you and passing you like you're sitting still, you should probably bump that speed up just a little bit. I know, I know, oh my God, it's illegal, but is it really? Keep up with the flow of traffic, because if you're going way too slow, if everybody's going 100 miles an hour and you're going 70, they're probably gonna rear end you and you cause like a freaking 20 car collision or something. So just keep up with the flow of traffic. Middle lane is for normal driving people. You're, you got a ways to go and you want to drive the speed limit. Hey, I'm not going to judge you if you drive a little bit faster. That's cool. I do that plenty of times. I'm not condoning it or saying it's right or wrong. It's not right. It's not legal, but you do have to keep up with flow of traffic. Okay. So there's that. The left lane, the left lane is for passing, passing. I'm gonna say that again. The left lane on the interstate is for passing. It is not for staying in that lane and going, I don't know, I see some people will go slow in the left-hand lane and they just stay there. That is not what that's for. That is when the person in front of you in the middle lane is going a bit too slow for you and you are in a hurry and running late for work or whatever the reason is, and you need to pass them, okay? Maybe their exhaust is, is choking you out. You put your blinker on, okay? Like I said earlier, you turn into the left-hand lane, all right? You speed up to where you pass the person, and then you go back into the center lane and drive like a normal fucking human being again, okay? All right. Another one is please do not slam on your brakes. That is a really good way to get rear-ended, all right? And cause a huge, massive accident behind you, especially on a big road like 
I-75 or I-10 or any of the interstates. I mean, come on guys, let's use a little common sense, okay? Um, it is probably not a good idea also to be driving unless it is an absolute emergency. You're about to die and you're trying to get to the hospital or your mom's about to die and trying to get to the hospital. In which case I would call 911 and at least try and get a police escort or something. But you should not be going 130 miles an hour on the interstate. That's dangerous, okay? If somebody doesn't see you, you... And, and they're in front of you, you're not gonna have time to slow down. You're gonna crash right into them. You're gonna kill yourself, okay? You can kill them, you can kill their kids, you can kill everybody else around you because all the cars are gonna flip over and flip flop and all this stuff. So don't be an idiot. Don't, you know, if speed, okay, fine. I'm not gonna hate on you for speeding. I've sped before, I probably will again. Uh, but, you know, let's keep it within reason, guys. My God. Okay, let me explain yielding to you, okay? When you yield, that means that there is traffic that has the right-of-way behind you. You are trying to get on the same road as the cars that are already on that road. It is your duty to look and make sure that there are no cars coming and you have plenty of room to merge onto that road. Does that make sense? I feel like that doesn't make sense to a lot of people because I live near a street where there's a merge onto, honestly, not even that big of a road. It has two lanes and it's a, I mean, it's a highway, but it's not that big or whatever. And the speed limit's only like 55, so really shouldn't be a big deal. Um, However, I see accidents there like probably two, three times a week and somebody's getting rear-ended because they didn't know how to yield. Dude, look behind you. Okay, just go like this. Look in your side view mirror. Look in your rear view mirror. Turn your head a little bit. Are there any cars coming? No, not for a while. Okay, so let me go ahead and put on the gas. Is there anyone in front of me, first of all? If there's not, there's no one coming or for a long ways, there's no one in front of you, go ahead and push on the gas, merge onto the road and accelerate to an acceptable speed with the flow of traffic. All right. <laughs> now, yellow lights, red lights, yellow lights. Okay, just today, I was sitting at a left-hand turn signal that was red. And lo and behold, the dude next to me just went ahead and turned. Okay, that's not a good idea. Do not turn left when the arrow to turn left is red. Does that make sense? I, I feel like that should make sense. Because that is very dangerous. Because you could possibly get T-boned or have a head-on collision or, I mean, something. That not a good idea, okay? So don't, don't do that. Uh, don't be texting and driving. I know it's tempting. My God, I know. You can, you know, maybe have like uh, earbuds or something like a, what is it called? Bluetooth. And you could, you know, talk to the person or something like that. Uh, it's just an idea. Uh, I know that's distracting too, but at least, you know, it'd be on your lap or something. You can have them on speakerphone. Like, don't be texting, man. Like, that's very distracting. It's very dangerous. Obviously, don't drink and drive, but I mean, people do it all the time. You're dumb. Don't do that. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, yellow lights. That means slow the fuck down, okay? Because the light's about to turn red. Not speed the fuck up! Because the light's about to turn red! Does that make sense? I feel, like, I feel like these things should make sense, but they don't to a lot of people. So I'm just trying to help you guys out. Um, Four-way stop. Okay, those really are not that hard. It's the same thing with roundabouts. Those are really not that hard either, but people seem to not know how to use those very well. Uh, Four-way stop, you know, you just, whoever gets there first pretty much gets to go first. And if literally everyone gets there at the same time, you yield to the person on the right. Okay, like, just no big deal. And if, you, if you're not sure, why don't you just go ahead and be a nice guy 
and uh, you know let the person go. Or if you see that they're going, don't try and go at the same time. Was that? Does that make sense? I feel like that should make sense. Roundabouts are is the same concept as yielding and a four-way stop kind of rolled up in the one. Like, really, guys, it's not that hard. I lived in Europe for several years, and um, I don't know. It was, it was pretty simple, but I know you guys have a hard time with it, I guess. I see accidents all the time with, like, the three roundabouts that we have in America. People are always wrecking into each other. Just, ugh, just yield, okay? Hold. Shit. Um, let's see. What other things? Just, you know, don't be, don't be a dick. Uh, just, if somebody needs to get over, just how about you slow down a little bit and let them get over. Don't be flying in a neighborhood, okay? Like, if the speed limit in a neighborhood is uh, 25 miles an hour, don't be going 50 miles an hour because you're a fucking dick. There's going to be kids playing around. If you run over my kid, I will rip you out of that motherfucking car and I'll chop you into little fucking pieces and feed you to the alligators in my backyard. I will. So, don't be an idiot, okay? You could you could hit a kid, you could hit a dog. I don't want to hit a dog. I mean, you know, I like dogs. I have a dog. Um, what else is there? Yeah, just be respectful, man. I mean, it's kind of plain and simple, but... Those are some basic stuff. If uh, you can think of any other ones, uh, you can feel free to comment in the comment section below. Obviously be respectful to each other, but I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that I forgot that you guys have uh, noticed, you know, uh, people people not doing. Um, Cause man, people drive like maniacs now. I don't know if you guys are getting your driver's license at Walmart or uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how this stuff works anymore, but anyhow, be careful, drive safe, be respectful to each other, use that little noggin, and as my dad used to say, use your head for something other than a hat rack. All right, y'all have a good day.